Fair warning, in this week's video, you will see a lot of creepy crawlies as we try to explain why the eyes of humans reflect red light and why the eyes of some animals reflect green light. We are here in the middle of the woods. In our backyard. And it's in the middle of the night. It's actually 10 o'clock. And we are surrounded by spiders. Now that part's true. And because of a trick in biology, in this video, we're going to show you how we know exactly which spiders are looking directly at us. So to be able to explain that and how we ended up in the middle of the woods, we need to rewind it a little bit. If you're new to our channel, then you may not know that we're pretty big into animal rehabbing. We've done several videos where we show how we rehabilitate injured or abandoned squirrels back into the wild. We've also helped rehab opossums, hawks, groundhogs, and even owls with the ultimate goal of releasing them back into their natural habitat. We are currently in the middle of a soft release of about 13 squirrels when we noticed the fascinating phenomenon that is the topic of this week's video. And just so you're aware, a soft release of squirrels is when we take them from their cages inside the house to their cages outside of the house and open them up. The squirrels are allowed to leave throughout the day and eventually they come back at night to get food. And over the next several days to a week or two, after they've built a nest and found enough of their own food, they have no need to return to the cage that we provided and they're free to go. And it's during this time during the soft release where we were walking out at night to feed them when we noticed this interesting phenomenon. You see, when we feed the squirrels at night, we wear headlamps on our heads. The headlamps make it easier to see, obviously, where we're going, but also we have our hands free so we can feed the squirrels easier. And we noticed that when we're wearing the headlamps at night, we would see countless tiny green shimmers on the ground. See those sparklies in the ground? Do you see them? Those sparkly things? And we didn't think too much about it until one day we decided to dig a little deeper and find out what exactly is causing this. To make a science lesson out of this, I took my kids out at night with headlamps on our heads and we went exploring. And by the way, is this not the true definition of homeschool? Having science class at 1030 at night? We strapped 400 lumen LED lights to our foreheads and we went exploring. So one evening we followed the green light and this is what we found. Spiders. Unfortunately, getting the green shimmers that we were seeing all over the ground to show up on our camera was pretty difficult. But you can still see the effect that we were talking about by the pictures that my kids were able to take of all the animals and insects that we were able to find. But once we saw the reflection of the light, right at the base of that tree, right there is a the glimmer. We approached it and then in the pictures my kids were able to take, you can definitely see the eye light reflections coming back to us. And at night, it was hard for the camera to get the lighting right and focusing right, so I'm going to fast forward to right to the point where we can see the spider pretty well. And there we have it, a tiny half inch to one inch spider that we were able to locate 20 feet away in the middle of the night because of the reflection of his eyes. And this is one of the pictures that my daughter took of a spider that she found that clearly shows the eye reflections that we're seeing on the ground. We saw eye light reflections from small spiders, big spiders, to even frogs. It's probably 20 feet away that I started seeing the sparkle. It's complete black over here. Not stopping. Oh, the sparkle of a frog. And in digging a little deeper to make this video, we discovered why spider's eyes reflect green light while a human eyes reflect red light. And we'll talk more about that in just a second. We would spend the next hour or so tracking down what we would call green shinies in the ground, approaching them from as far as 40 feet away and finding out exactly what was looking right back at us. Usually it was a spider, but doing an exercise like this, you never know what you're going to find. This spider was pregnant, as you can see by the sack of babies it's carrying around on its abdomen. We found everything from frogs to snails to even a ridiculously large Middle Earth type spider that you would never want to come across by accident. What do we have crawling on the tree? Oh, oh my goodness. Whoa, check this honker out. Whoa, so you look straight ahead. No, thank you. We saw this spider and lost our minds. It was huge. And here you can see my wife putting her cell phone right next to it for a reference size. Now I know there are bigger spiders out there and certainly more dangerous and scary ones. But when you're expecting to approach something that's about an inch small and see this monstrosity, it was pretty crazy. 
and it gave us the greatest demonstration of eye light reflection of the night. You can clearly see two of its eight creepy eyeballs reflecting green light right back at us. So what exactly is going on here and why are these animals reflecting green light when the reflection from human eyes is red? What's causing the difference? And if you've never noticed this before, like us until a few days ago, you've probably seen the effect we're talking about when you're taking pictures of your dogs and cats around your home. This is a picture of our dog Kona, and oftentimes her eyes would make her look like the devil when she was posing with us. As it turns out, the difference in color reflection from our animals in the house and the insects outside is because they have some extra anatomy in their eyes that we humans do not have. A few months ago, we did a video on our channel on how the human eye works. And in case you're new here, on our website, most of our videos have associated worksheets that are free to download so you can give your kids for an assessment. This video, of course, will have one too. When we did that video, we talked about the parts of the eye and specifically the retina that lines the back of the eye. In humans, when light passes through the eye, it ultimately hits the retina. And immediately behind the retina is a cluster of blood vessels called the choroid plexus. And because those vessels are red, that's why we often see red light reflected back to us when we're taking pictures. Now, in the case of animals that are specifically designed to hunt at night, most of them have developed an additional structure in their eye called the tapetum lucidum. The tapetum lucidum is like a big mirror and it reflects light back onto the retina, increasing the amount of light that these animals can see. And that ultimately gives them night vision or at least superior vision at night so they can hunt effectively. And because that light is reflected by the tapetum lucidum before it hits the choroid plexus, that is why the light reflected by these animals' eyes is green and not red. And while it would be cool for us humans to have a tapetum lucidum so we could also see at night, oftentimes these animals that have a tapetum lucidum don't have an abundance of cone cells allowing them to see color, so they ultimately are colorblind. Mother Nature is a cruel mistress. She giveth and she taketh away. So that's it for this week's video. It's a little late because it's summertime and we aren't schooling as much. Nevertheless, we hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Check out our website for free worksheets, free x-rays, and other stuff for your homeschooling efforts. The free worksheet for this video will be posted soon. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you next week. What's the ghost's favorite food? What? Bologna sandwiches. Get bologna. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, you got it. Oh gosh, grab the camera. Just grab, you we're okay. Grab the camera and then, um. Oh, wow. Okay, this was not expected. <laughs> So my family was super curious to know if I was just playing scared for the camera or if I was legitimately scared. And I can tell you for 100% I was...